Well, I've already welcomed the team positivity, game number five, a huge TV advantage against Woody's. Um, which is a double edged sword. I'm not just I'm not seeing as the worst worst possible matchup. But you know, you can get a, a good star here or wizard and stuff. Well, obviously I should be favourite. As long as I don't play crap. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> just gotta just gotta play better in there, that's it. Shared Spy. My friends play Shared Spy. They, they both think it's really good. They both. I'm mean, not both of my friends. I know two <laughs> two of my friends play it. The, I'm, I know three people who play Games Workshop games well, and two of them play each other and, and, and think it's good. <laughs> 40k rips off Starship Troopers, does it? Surely, surely 40k was before Starship Troopers. A bribe and a tree man, interesting decision. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Senna. <laughs> sure. Um The book was written in nineteen fifty nine, alright, fair enough. Fair enough with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they license a lot of things, yeah. Yeah, they they give out they give out I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? But I mean I think they should have tried to make a good one. I mean there uh, there's that one, Dawn of War, isn't it? I, I know a lot of people that like Dawn of War. Alright, fifty nine. <laughs> yeah, every that's true, Skrull. That's true. That's true. Um, all right, fair enough. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Oh, the problem with fucking mini forty k miniatures is just the transportation, like storage and transportation. That's the killer. That's the absolute. The absolute killer is, is just storage and transportation. You know, I've got loads. I've got. Necro Necron Army, War uh, Space Marine Army, Grey Knight Army, uh, Had an Eldar Army, High Elves, Undead, you know, loads of stuff. But um, the problem is storing it and taking it anywhere to play. <laughs> and the setting up takes ages. Oh man, you go to a tournament and you like, you just fucking get out your all your armies, and that takes about ten hours. <laughs> you know? I'm definitely not going to do any passes here. I think I'll just carry on the on the blodger to be safe. And uh Ooh, we can go for the witch one that's not a witch help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could I could hear him, couldn't I, in turn one? That seems that seems worth it. That seems give me the hit. Let him base a lineman, not a blitzer. That just seems good. Use frenzy to defend the ball. Need another one here, don't I, to base him. And then he comes around and then he blitzes, yeah. Alright. Alright. Bit off centre for the witch elf in case of a blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Good. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it does every. <laughs> you don't think painting 40k is a pain? Yeah, painting them, eh, it's also a bit enjoyable, though, isn't it? So, like, yeah, painting your army is. It depends, doesn't it? Like, you know? Painting, it, de it depends. There's pros and cons to it. Because on the one hand, having an unpainted army is shit. And having loads that you've got to paint is really hot, a nightmare. 
But like, I generally like painting. It's just that you get put off by how much you've got to do, isn't it? You know, painting like a dude is really cool. But painting, sitting there and thinking like, oh God, I've got all these armies to paint is a nightmare. So yeah, six and two threes, I'd say with a, with a painting. Also, when you're a little kid and you're like, well, <laughs> showing my age, when you're a little kid and you're, you're like, oh man, I'll never be as good as Mike McVeigh. I think you're shit. And actually, you're not shit. It's just that no one's as good as Mike McVeigh, except Mike McVeigh, which is why he's Mike McVeigh, and you're not. <laughs> Isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. Did not kill him. Sad times. Kaz, lucky dingo. I guess what I want to do is just get away from the war dancer. So picking up the witch elf. Although it sounds horrible. Could be okay because I don't know how I safely cage here. I don't want the tree to be able to put pressure on him. Could hand it off. It doesn't matter so much if I fail the handoff. I couldn't afford to fail a pickup. But I think a handoff fail here is, isn't so bad. My God. Shame that I didn't cast his ward answer, but one down is good, isn't it? It cost me giving up a hit, which is really, really bad, but never mind. Heavy metal for 10 years, wow. Like it's different. It's different in a, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty, it's, you know, it's obviously different for you who's good, but you know what I mean? Like when I was, and it's different now with the internet, but like when I was, uh, when I was a little kid and that, you know, buying White Dwarf and what have you, you know, I used to think I was shit at painting and it, it was pretty like, Disillusioning? No, not that's not the word. But it was disheartening. It was disheartening, you know, because the, the I was all, I could only compare myself pretty much to the people in White Dwarf who were like the fucking best in the world, weren't they? So, you know. Yeah, yeah I've got unpainted teams going on for a decade. War from Ajax. I mean, it doesn't help that I've got like over twenty teams. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got loads of them. Because, like, I buy the miniatures to fucking collect the miniatures as well. And then I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to fuck up the models. You know? Turn one route is glorious. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Scooter. That's, that's a very good, that's a very good, very good strategy. Um, I wish I had calmed down a bit. Right, the only place safe from, oh no, there's two war dancers. All right. So, I go here for a turn, as scary as it is. Because um, I've got options, you know, I'm, I'm, I can move seven forward next turn and cage somewhere. So that's not really an issue. What I want to do is uh, get the hit on the war dancer here, don't I? Um, somehow. Um, can he go there? Can the witch help? I don't want to make a GFI, but if I could make a GFI, he could blitz. He could block, he could blitz, and then get the assist. I don't have to, I don't have to roll two pluses. I guess I have to. I guess I have to make this GFI. Don't wanna. But if it means 
hitting the war dancer with tackle. It's probably worth it, isn't it? Maybe get a surf as well. One day. Fuck. <laughs> Worth it to hit the dancer, isn't it? It's pushing. Maybe I could have served him actually with some kind of crazy. Oh, I got the power. Random, random power there. Pretty good. Right. Um, that's a good turn. I shall just turn this off for a second. Ah, yes, Felenic. They're on the sheet. I, I will never, I will never attempt to surf ever again. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I only attempted one like the turn after I wrote that on the sheet. <laughs> oh dear. Right, he's using, he's using a reroll on that dodge. I guess he was going to get surfed, and uh, I don't know. I guess he thought it was worth it. But I mean, I can, This is okay. I can come back and protect the ball next time. Oh man, yeah, be, heavy metal is completely amazing. It would be unbelievable to paint, able to paint as good as that. that. You know, that's the thing. And I would, I would look at these things, and I, would, I just didn't want to fuck my models up. You know, I can, I can imagine, I can imagine that I could paint them as good as the pros one day. Whereas if I actually paint them, I'll be, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, deal with the reality <laughs> that they're painted a bit shit. <laughs> that is the that is the problem. Oh well, we're looted count effects. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't push anyone in the tree, so that I can escape next turn. Yeah, I've, I've hosted. Uh, I've hosted. In fact, <laughs> I know it's not, it doesn't mean much or anything because how many viewers I get and how many they get, but I've hosted the uh, Warhammer TV a few times and, uh, you know, they, they had some kind of painting things on sometimes and I thought that could be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, they've got to they've got to tell you to stay fantastic. Right. I mean, you could get he could leap in and get the uh, get the scatter here, couldn't he? Which is a bit crap. I want to blitz the war dancer. He can block him. He can block him. She can block him. Want to hit the water and that's how I do it. He has to block him on two. He has to block him on two. Then he blocks him on two. Yeah, so I can still do it. Maybe I should have gone three in for the scatter out. Maybe I should have done. So what starts? This this starts it. Oh fuck! He's got an assist. Oh fucked up. So I can't I can't hit the uh, can't hit the dancer. Then. <laughs> Get an AV break. Oh, maybe I can hit the. Uh... He can block. Oh, there's only there's only one dice. I could hit the uh, catcher, I guess. Blitz the catcher, and then hit him fish for a pal. Blitz. Could just bring the witch elf to here, block him, and then uh, blitz the catcher. Yeah. All right. 
Don't blitz the catcher then. <laughs> blitz this guy. Nice. Cheeky AV break. And, uh, yeah, so now there's a bit of a cage, isn't there? <laughs> half, half the pitch is a cage. Hopefully that's enough. Can just fucking wood out. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I've got a fully mechanised MP guard army as well. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, the spore mines. Oh, I had Tyranid army as well. I used to have a Tyranid army. Yeah, he's going for the leap in. So yeah, I guess I should have gone three away. Because he's still getting to do the leap in. And he's got to make a GFI, so at least it adds something to him. <laughs> Glad scene is so famous. Oh, you can just go this way. Alright. How much is that? Oh, he did it wrong there, didn't he? Because the leap takes two squares, even if you only go one. But yeah, I should have. Shouldn't have let him go into the. Uh, shouldn't have let him go into the crowd, should I? Oh, lucky. Lucky. And his reroll's gone. So I got about as lucky out of that as I could have possibly got, didn't I? Phew. Alright, so I can block him, block him to there, and then surf. Potentially. Would be really good, wouldn't it? And getting lots of other blocks as well. Oh, that's a cheeky move. Surf, like that's gonna happen. Look at the paper, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at the paper. Oh dear. I mean, it's it's all decided this coming turn, isn't it? Really, either I surf his dancer and ruin him, or he knocks out his own war dancer here, and uh, things go better. <laughs> right. um, concede. <laughs> oh yeah. Not a bad game of blood ball there, wasn't it? I mean, he was horribly unlucky to uh, for his tree to root turn one, but um, ooh, MVP for the Blitzer, they got a Kaz, brilliant. A, a great start for Lemon is good. Um. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's true, Adonis Callis. <laughs> that is literally true, yeah. Yeah. Um, dodge. But I mean, they've all. I make more in, uh, in like, you know, tabletop kind of. Not tabletop, like NAF style, I'd make more leaps. Against higher quality opposition, you've got to make more leaps as well, haven't you? Try and make something work. And there's always the threat of the leap, um, which is terrifying. Alright, so. And, and still no star play for which Witch Elf needs to get touchdowns. Obviously, this guy needs one touchdown, and then the blitzes are pretty much finished, aren't they? Once they've got blodge, these guys need an easy match, like versus uh, something that isn't edge four, so they can get their passes. Um, now I've got three rerolls. The passes is uh, something much more likely to work. But that was a nice, quick game, wasn't it? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.